Hello everybody, my name's Lisa Curry. Cur uh. <laughs> Lisa Curry and I am a part-time, very part-time soon, eBay reseller. Um, how did I get into reselling? I'll give you a quick bit of background. I stumbled across some reselling videos on YouTube when I was looking up charity shop hauls and boot fair hauls because I've gone to boot fairs for years and years and years um, always loved going to them always practically um, completed my whole wardrobe from charity shops and boot fairs and um, so I just got into watching hauls and then I came across a, a video one day I don't know whose it was actually and it was um, a reseller so it must have been in the group of people like um, Nick and Andrea uh, Lex Karen sells clothes Karen makes and stuff it must have been in that kind of group because that's how I've come to kind of be interacting in that kind of group so anyway it just gave me the idea that I see loads and loads of stuff at the boot fairs that won't fit me or I don't need or want um, or I'd love to buy because I think it's like a really good deal but I, I just don't need it so I thought well hang on I could have a go at this reselling business um, and see if like I can do it for a start are people really going to buy the stuff that I decide um, to pick up are they going to buy it and I've been doing it for a couple of months um, and people are. Now, don't get me wrong, I'm not making mega money at all. In fact, I can't even tell you what I've made in profit because whatever has been selling, I've just been reinvesting um, to build up stock. Um, I'm nearly at 150 listings, um, which I'm really pleased about because I've managed to do that with the kids at home over the summer holiday. And at the end of this month, I'm going to go official and register as a business seller and um, open a shop. The reason I haven't done that up until now is because I had a, a lot of really good personal feedback. In fact, my personal feedback over the years of selling my own bits and pieces, which I haven't done for ages since the kids were small, but selling my own stuff and buying stuff was 100%. And um, it was like at 300 and something. And I really didn't want to jeopardise that if... A, reselling wasn't for me. Um, it just didn't work. Like, I didn't make any money. The stuff I was picking up, people didn't want. Or B, um, I didn't think I was going to continue with it. You know, it's a big risk to, like, lose that. Because I know myself, if I decide to buy things um, off eBay, I look at people's feedback, you know, especially if I'm going to be spending quite a bit of money, um... And to, to know that I'm going to kind of get what I'm expecting to get. So anyway, that's the background. We're a couple of days to the end of the month, which is when I've decided to transition over because I've got fees, obviously, to pay. Um, and the way my post thing is set up at the moment, I pay that in one big lump sum. So I'm going to get all that out of the way. Um, I will still be listing personal stuff and I'm going to put it on the business account because I feel that that's going to negate any money that I've made so far do you know what I mean then I feel morally that I've done the right thing um because there's just no way I, I can have two accounts and all that maybe down down in the future but when I get back to work I've got really busy life so that just ain't gonna happen um kind of easily so yes I've got tons of personal bits to go through and sort out for to either donate to charity or to list to sell anyway um, probably now there's going to be an insertion of me and Hubs um, on our way to a couple of boot fairs. So I'll end this now and then I'll come back to you and show you what I got. Good morning everybody. It's just before nine o'clock and me and Hubs and darling daughter are on our way to Whitstable Ben's boot fair that starts at nine. And let's see what I can find today. So we're in the queue. This people waiting to go in. I'm not going to get you, darling. Don't worry. You have to pay. I think it's 50p to park. 
I've seen a minibus full of people coming here, which is a bit strange. But anyway, I'll do a bit more vlogging, as they say, when we get inside. This is where they hold us back. We're penned in until they lift. There's like a rope across there. So this is everybody, the stampede to get into this boot fair is bizarre. Right, going into the second boot fair, we're late. It's up at 10, but we had to do a little diversion because we um, bought Darling Daughter a guitar, as you can hear, on eBay, which we got for a tenner, which is a bargain. So I'm going to try and video at this one because I didn't do any at the last one because I felt strange walking around talking to my phone. So I'll have a go. Right, I'm going to go now. Getting our money ready. Bye. Okay, so you saw me at the boot fairs and you saw that I could not video walking around. So I'll very quickly show you what I picked up. The first boot fair was really, really slim pickings. Um, for anybody local that happens to stumble across this uh, video, it was Whitstable Benz, which is actually closer to Herne Bay than to Whitstable. It was really slim pickings. There's a lot of de dealers at that boot fair Bargains are really hard to come by. Um, so I can't actually remember what out of all this stuff I picked up. Oh, I did pick this up. So on the bamboo theme, the lighting's terrible. Sorry, but if I turn my big light on behind me, you won't see anything. So I picked up this bamboo letter rack. I've done the comps and them. They don't go for very much, but um, I paid a pound. And I think if I listed it for 9 99 it will sell eventually. But I really like it. I've just got nowhere for it to go so I think that will get listed so that was a pound at Whitstable Benz and then rummaging through my bags here did I get anything else from Whitstable ah I got a totally it really was slim pickings and um, the other thing I got was this pair of size 16 brand new with tags main um, which is a Debenhams brand women's kind of chino trousers in a kind of my mum calls this donkey brown don't ask me why but you get the imprint like it's that kind of it's not sand it's not khaki um so i think if i was to put them up for 11.99 12.99 um they should go um they're a kind of bog standard trouser aren't they that everybody kind of wears i would wear so that was that. That was it um, at Whitstable Benz. Like I said, it was uh, really slim pickings. In fact, some of the things I inquired about, I was just given ridic absolutely ridiculous prices. After that, we went on to Church Street, which is the clip you saw where it was really windy and you couldn't hear me. Um, we were expecting heavy rain that day on Sunday in the afternoon. And the wind really picked up. It was about half past ten by the time we got there. And you could see that most of the people doing the boot fair, bless them, selling, were like really fed up. Um, so I think that had a big effect on prices. Right, my first pickup, and I think I might keep these, which is like a real contradiction. Because there's one half of Lisa that loves her high-end makeup and bits and pieces like that and then there's another side of Lisa that really just likes being comfortable and a bit out there and all the rest of it so anyway <laughs> my dad saw these and said please tell me you're not keeping them right Dr Martin's sandals with barely anywhere it's really bad light in here I'm sorry and as I go forward and back the light adjusts see right okay I'll stay there barely anywhere and I paid £3 for these. Um, now, I don't generally spend that much on stuff, like a pound, £2 max. 
but they were Dr. Martins. They're in fairly good condition. They need a bit of leather softener put on them. That'll be a job for hubs. Um, I'm sure there's profit in there if I decide to sell them, but they are so comfortable. I don't think I'd wear them with shorts, but I do think I'd wear them with jeans, and they could be my boot fair shoes for next year. So anyway, they were three pounds, and they were the first pick up. There's the friend. And that was, as I said, from Church Street. So if you ever come this way, check the dates for, for Church Street. But it is definitely, I think I might blow Whitstable Bends out of the water. That's the nine o'clock start one. You just don't find anything there. Whereas the Church Street one, which is only on, I think it's every two weeks or once a month. Um, every time I go there, I get good stuff. Right, the second thing I picked up was... Thunderbird 2. I'm not going to press all the bits and pieces on it, but bits drop down and doors open and all sorts, and all the bits that should be there are intact. And I paid £2 for Thunderbird 2, which I thought was a um, fairly good price. It has got a bit of a scratch, which won't show up there, um, which won't come off. Um, but other than that, it's all complete. No idea what these go for. I think it takes batteries as well. I think the man said it takes batteries and you can press bits on it and it makes noises. Anyway, so that was um, the second pickup. So £5 spent. The next thing I picked up, I got it all from the same lady. Some of it I've already listed, so I can't show you. But basically, she said everything was a pound. So, when I hear things like that, it's like, feel your boots. So, I got ten items of clothing, of which I'm going to show you three. That was part of my ten pound I spent. She, she rounded it up, she just kept, oh yeah, they're ten pound, ten pound. So, I got this, can't see me, this um, Peruna skirt, navy blue skirt. It has been worn, but it's in really good condition. Um, it's a good size, as I keep hearing people say, oh, that's a good size. I believe it's a 16. I believe all the skirts are a 16. So there's that. I did also get off her a monsoon dress in a 16 or an 18. And another dress, which I've listed, I can't remember now, in a 16 or an 18. I've got 10 items of clothing, and then you'll see how she just gave me stuff for free as well. Um, the stuff she gave me for free is amazing. Another denim skirt, Peruna. It's got buttons here, they're not all done up. Knee length, A-line. Um, every denim skirt that I've listed, not that I've listed tons, but I think I've listed about three, has gone denim skirts just seem to be like forever popular and the last item of clothing I can show you because the rest is listed is a Bowden cotton skirt um, I know people are saying Bowden isn't going as well but for a quid I can't really say no can I so three skirts which have got to be Twelve ninety nine each, eleven ninety nine each. If I wanted them to go quick, right. This is where it got confusing, or good for me. Um, and I did say to her, "Are you sure?" And she said, "Yes, I'm sure," because the wind was blowing a rail over and all the rest of it. I got ten items of clothing, so that was ten pound. Then I looked down on the floor and I noticed that she had shoes. So I said, "How much are the shoes?" And she said, "They're a pound." So. I'd already got my 10 items of clothing and then just putting these together um, I got these really gorgeous tan leather sandals from Clark's in my size <laughs> oh, you know when you just don't know if you're going to part with something but they're like the, the sensible bit of me is saying Lisa like you'll probably wear them like in the course of a summer probably twice because they're not flat and comfortable and I always go towards flat and comfortable like those Dr Martin sandals so anyway they were a pound there is not a mark on them they are like new these came in with my 10 items so I'd already had 10 items of clothing and she said no 10 pound 
chuck them in your bag, £10. So I've got those. Then I've got another pair of Clarks. Well, these have still got the label on. These have been worn, um, but they're in really good condition. And they're my size again, and they've really got like a pretty little flower at the front. And I oh, don't know what to do. And they're cushion soft, whatever that means. And they've got a little bit of, um, what's that called, a platform. So you don't feel like you're in such a high shoe. Anyway, so I got those for a pound. I mean, even though these have been worn, there is the heels painting. I think there's one little mark around that side, which isn't showing up on the camera. But um, oh, there's nothing wrong with them. You know what I mean? I'd buy them in the sale in Clark's with that mark on and not panic about it. So then... I've got these. Now these are nothing exciting. These are from two, but I, I can stick them on for nine ninety nine. My mum said they're lovely. Keep them. Um, another pair of shoes, man made up as velvet, very Christmassy colour, like a wine colour with gold piping, and a tea bar. Um, my size again. <laughs> um, I've really got a shoe fetish. Bad, bad shoe fetish. Um, there you go, there's picking the colour up. And they went in with my 10 items of clothing and three pairs of shoes for £10. That, that is mental. So 13 things for £10. And they're all, I mean, the, the dresses that I've listed are just like new. Anyway, just chucking in at the very, very end. You know, I'm always going on about my £1 charity shop. Well, I've listed the other shoes that I got from there. But I'll just show you the kind of mad insane things that they put out for a pound these now what's a bit confusing about these is there's some marks on the sole but they've still got the price tag on 44.99 and they've got this bag of spare heel grips attached they're leather and they're from river island um so anyway they are, they're a size four, so they're quite dinky, but they were a pound. I can't, I don't know how they put these on the pound rack. And then they had some shoes from somewhere like Barrett's in the window that were hideous. And they had three quid on them. I, 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 I don't know. But I do know that I'm going to try to go in there at least three times a week to check the shoe rack. I went in today and there was nothing. Right, so that's them. And then last but not least, to get away from the theme of clothes, I'm going to show you these. There is a set of six of these. And I paid a pound for the set in the one pound charity shop. And what they are, they are scenes um, of London. So famous sites around London. So we've got uh, the Houses of Parliament, Horse Guards Parade, Tower Bridge, um, Buckingham Palace, and there's two more in the bag, and I paid a pound for those. I've looked them up, they don't go for a hell of a lot of money. I mean, tenner if I'm lucky. Oh no, these were these were from the other shop, British Red Cross. There's only four of the London ones, sorry. In my one pound charity shop, I'm only gonna undo a couple. Where did it up? They, these are slightly bigger, and there's a full set of these, set of six shot glasses, and these ones are scenes um, from Scotland. I'm assuming this one I've heard of, Holyrood House, but this one says Wallace Monument. Um, I'm not, you know, up on all the, the sites in Scotland, but there's the full set of six of those, and they were on the pound shelf, so I've got them for a pound. So anyway, that's my first um, YouTube video. If you could put up with me going on and on and on um, and rambling, please hit the subscribe button. I'll try to update as regularly as I can. And thank you very much for watching. Bye.